Hello, we are going to present the paper Trans MOT, Spatial Temporal Graph Transformer for Multiple Object Tracking. For people not familiar with MOT, MOT is the task to find the moving trajectories of multiple targets in the video. Traditional MOT methods use strict thresholds to filter the outputs from the detection network to only track the most competent detection candidates for better efficiency and lower false positive rates. But it causes the MOT tracker to lose tracking of those targets with a high portion of occlusion. Our method can leverage low competence detection candidates for robust tracking, especially in occluded scenes. By arranging the trajectories of the tracked targets and detection candidates as a set of sparse weighted graphs, TransMOT is capable of effectively modeling the interactions of a large number of objects and capturing their spatial temporal clues for association estimation. The overall tracking pipeline of TransMOT is shown below. TransMOT takes the graph series of tracked targets and the candidate's graph as inputs and outputs the assignment matrix for the current frame. TransMOT consists of the spatial temporal graph transformer encoder and the spatial graph transformer decoder. The encoder takes the graph series as input. Leveraging the graph formulation, the global association can be decoupled as multiple local associations. The encoder, therefore, can use graph convolution to effectively model the local attention for better capturing the spatial temporal clues among the tracked targets. The spatial graph transformer decoder takes the output from the encoder and the candidate's graph as inputs to estimate the final assignment matrix. In order to model the special events during tracking, we add additional features for the virtual source and virtual sync nodes. We use cross-entropy loss and multi-label loss as supervision signals to train the trans-MOT network in the end-to-end -end style. We evaluate the proposed method on four popular MOT benchmarks, MOT15, MOT16, MOT17, and MOT20. We compare our method with other published methods that use private detectors. The proposed methods achieve better performance in all of the datasets than compared methods. As an example, the videos in MOT20 dataset contains more than 170 people on average in each frame. Our method achieves state-of-the-art performance in the IDF1 metric. It demonstrates the ability of trans-MOT to robust tracking in very crowded scenes. We visualized the tracking results from the MOT17 dataset for six selected videos. We also visualized the tracking results from the MOT20 dataset for two selected videos. In order to better illustrate the tracking results, on the right, the results trajectories of four randomly selected targets are also visualized. Thank you.